Yes, finally, finally, Google I.O. and an announcement, a big announcement for Flutter. Yes, let's welcome Flutter 3. <laughs> let's go through the most important update of Flutter 3 together. First thing first, the most important thing is that now Mac OS and Linux are moving to stable. So all six platforms are stable right now in Flutter 3. Another great feature of Flutter 3 is a big improvement on Flutter web performance. In fact, Flutter team has leveraged new API in browsers, especially Chrome 99 uh, above and Firefox. And you know, they leverage those new APIs and improve the decoding images as well as the speed of scrolling. So this is now a big chance that we can scroll Flutter web where you have a lot of images and you get most likely 60 FPS. This is a massive improvement. There is also a new update on the Flutter web app uh, lifecycle API, where from now on you can have an ability to add a splash screen for your web application while the app is loading too. This is a great update as well. The most significant update is material tree widgets. Yes, now the time is the waiting time is over and we have material tree support in Flutter. The secret sauce behind Flutter is Dart. Dart 2.17 was released to stable. Supercharge enums in Flutter finally is approaching. Finally is coming to Dart 2.17. Let's take a look at what is new in enums in Dart 2.17. Initially, let's say if you had uh, enums in Dart, it was uh, pretty limited, but now you can define an enum just pretty much similar uh, like a class. So you're gonna define your enums, like let's say I have a cars enum. So it's gonna have three cars like Tesla, BMW and Porsche. So I'm gonna have like, name and price here. I can define what is the type of name or price. I can have a constructor for my enums and maybe define some method passing some parameters or having a getters and even override some of the functionalities, for example, to a string. Another major update to DAR 2.17 was super constructor. This is perhaps one of my favorites that will shorthand our coding. Name arguments anywhere. Well, previously, we had to have name arguments in the last position of a constructor, but now from Dart 2.17, we no longer need to do that. You can put your named arguments anywhere in the constructor. And that is not all. There are many other updates that you can find for Flutter 3 and Dart 2.17. One of them was an update to Flutter DevTools. So now on the performance tab, you will have enhanced tracing. So now you have more options to trace your performance, your application performance. And Flutter 3 now is supporting foldable devices much better than before. Cascading menus and support for the Mac OS system menu bar. Now you can create platform rendered menu bars on Mac OS using platform menu bar widgets. Flutter command line for building IPA has also received a new feature. So now you can optionally add export method with your method that you are targeting. What are you waiting for? Go to your application, maybe upgrade your application to Flutter 3 and test it out. I bet you don't have much to do to upgrade to Flutter 3. Perhaps 
hopefully, because most of the features that is released to Flutter 3 is backward compatible. So hopefully you can get the latest and the best stable version of Flutter today. I want to know, what do you think about Flutter 3? What is the best feature that you really like in Flutter 3? Please let me know in the comment below and let's have the conversation going. Happy Flutter 3 coding!